In this tech brief video session, I'm showing you can open magic light and the essential tracing and logging functions available in all can open magic programs. When starting up can open magic, the trace window is dominant at the bottom half of the screen and just press the record button to start tracing and logging of the communication on the can open network. Oh, we see here some communication going back and forth. This is now in sequence mode, so the messages come in one by one. But we can also change to fixed mode, where there's one line for each message, and then there's an counter increasing when the message actually is on the bus. So we see here some heartbeats, we see some SDOs, service data objects, and a lot of PDOs with some data changing here in the back. As far as the message frequency goes, we see those come at around 100 milliseconds. These every 50 milliseconds up here, the heartbeats about all 500 milliseconds. Now, if we go back to the sequence mode, instead of a relative timestamp, we can also do an absolute timestamp. Then I'll stop the recording now so that we can see what's going on here. So now we have an absolute timestamp, not increasing. And if I go all the way to the beginning of the recording and say, you know what, I really would like to start at zero here, then we'll just do set timestamp zero point. And from this point on forward, we see how the timestamps increase all the way to the end of the buffer. And once the trace is stopped, we can also click on the save icon and simply store it, for example, on the desktop and have the contents stored as CSV, comma, separated values. So that is easily importable to something like Excel. Let's review the other sections. So if I start recording again, so besides absolute timestamp, we also have the difference between a relative and relative milliseconds only. The milliseconds only is um, a little bit easier to read. So if we go back to fixed, and if you don't need anything below in resolution, then that's the easier option. Or if you need the full resolution, then you go to relative and we get the full relative timestamp. 